What's up guys? In this video, I wanted to show you guys what I recently picked up. And this is something that I've been wanting to get for a while. Been doing quite a bit of research. If you've read the title of the video, you know what it is. But enough talk, let's go ahead and open the box. Uh, and while we do that guys, I would appreciate it uh, if you guys would go over and I'm going to leave a link down below this video to their Facebook page. Go over, tell them I said hello. And also guys, I would appreciate it if you would share this video with all of your, your friends and stuff like that, because your sharing of these videos helps to make more videos by funding what we do here. So I would really appreciate that. What we have is the new Ruger SFAR. This is an AR-10 308. Uh, SFAR stands for, I believe it's short frame auto loading rifle or something like that. You guys let me know for sure down in the comments below. This is possibly the lightest AR-10 that you can find. And... I mean, I've got AR-15s that are as heavy, if not heavier, than this thing. Chambered in 308, and it is a great-looking rifle. I've been wanting to get an AR-10 for quite some time, and was not 100% certain as far as what I wanted to go with. Finally decided to go with one of these after looking at them, after having a couple of them in my hands. I'd actually looked for them, uh, looked at them in a couple of different places, and never picked one up. Uh, finally made the decision to go down and get one. But, of course, you know how things go. Uh, once you finally do decide to go looking for something, no one has them. Of course, fortunately, the folks down there did. And I made the trip down and picked it up. Magpul stock, Magpul furniture. Uh, you can see here, and of course, guys, you know, before I even just waste my time, I know you guys are not really interested in seeing all of the stuff that's in the box, but we'll go ahead and go through it real quick. You do get your lock that never gets used. You get one mag, 20 round mag, you know, it's P mag. Uh, you get your literature, your owner's manual, that sort of thing. Uh, you do supposedly get a tool for adjusting gas block okay uh, if i can show it to you you can see here there's your gas block adjustment right there now according to the manual and according to everything that i've read online uh you've got th you know, basically three settings four if you want to count it or you turn it off but anyways i don't know why you do that typically for this gun uh, what they recommend is a 250 round break-in period I know every, anytime I mention break-in periods on firearms, then people typically go nuts. Uh, but that is the reality. These are mechanical devices, and when they are new, those tolerances are much tighter, and you need to run them in to make sure that they basically fit themselves uh, together the way they should. Uh, this rifle does come in two different barrel lengths. You've got the 16-inch and the 20-inch. I went with the 16 inch. I do like that shorter, compact, uh, you know, barrel. Uh, do have a an optic that's going to be going on top of this. If you guys go back to a couple of my recent videos back, uh, you guys know what that is. Do have QD mounts. You know, you've got one on the stock. You also have one here on underneath the castle nut, as well as on the front of the handguard. Some of the things that they've done to help keep the weight down is they have scalloped the handguard. You do not have the Picatinny rail coming all the way down front. You do have a short section here on the front of the rifle uh, for the purposes of being able to mount a front sight or just whatever you want to do. Uh, you know, that is one thing that they've done to save weight. Also, you know, this handguard is super thin. The barrel itself, I want you to notice something. Uh, there's others out there. I think it is the uh, Springfield, the Saint, the one that they have. It has basically a pencil barrel. This one has a much heavier profile barrel, but if you look up the weights online, this one is actually a lighter overall rifle. Another thing they've done, 
is the way they have the magwell scalloped. You can see here, you know, there again, it may just be a couple of ounces of metal for them to scallop that the way that they've done, but that works very well. The frame, uh, the receiver, you can see that the receiver is much more in line with the size of an AR-15 than it is with a lot of your AR-10s. You'll know if you look at most of your AR-10s, it's typically very heavy all the way back, okay, all the way back. The bolt, the bolt carrier group in this gun is much shorter than typical AR-10 firearms bolt carriers. And that is another difference. Now, there is no 100% uh, standard on how AR-10s are designed, unlike what AR-15s are. You know, AR-15s typically across the board are almost all identical in many ways. You know, there of course, there's differences in fitment and stuff like that. AR-10s are not necessarily that way. Uh, Mac from Military Arms Channel has done a pretty good video talking about the details as far as the differences in some of them. Stock is adjustable. You know, that Magpul stock is adjustable. Now, one thing that you will notice, that is as far as it's going to collapse down. It does not go all the way up due to the length that is needed and that sort of thing, but that's no big deal. Okay, but it is adjustable. It's a very good stock. Uh, those you guys that have used this type of Magpul furniture on your firearms know that that's a very good stock. Okay, it comes right on the gun. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about, the trigger. Okay, the trigger on this thing is absolutely amazing. And guys, there again, this is not the 100% first time that I had this out of the box. I did before taking it home, I did check it over at the gun store, uh, you know, just to make sure that everything was good with it because you don't want to spend money on something and then there'll be a problem with it, okay? That's just unfortunate, something you should not ever do. Uh, but the trigger, let's get back to that, okay? The trigger on this is amazing. I have uh, bolt guns that the trigger on them are better of course but there again for a semi-automatic ar-10 just look at this you got just a little bit of take up on that trigger just a little bit you can see just a little bit of wiggle you hit that wall and it goes that is a very nice trigger okay the reset easing forward right there is the reset okay there's the wall there again, that trigger, that is an amazing trigger. I love that trigger, okay? Is it the best? No. You can get custom triggers and things like that that are going to be much more crisp, but for a factory firearm, a factory AR-10, that is an amazing trigger. You know, even for an AR-15, that would be an amazing trigger. The safety, very positive, okay? Very positive safety. All the controls, typical AR-15. You have your bolt release. You have your magazine release. And of course, the safety. The charging handle. I may change this out in the future once I get the optic on it. Because one thing that is a problem with AR-15s, AR-10s, uh, when you have an optic up here, a lot of times it can be more of a challenge trying to get your hands on that charging handle when you have that optic in the way so that's something that i may replace on this uh, if you guys have any suggestions for one that would fit the ruger sfar please drop those down in the comments below typical dust cover you do have the forward assist and i like that typically on an ar-15 or whatever even an ar-10 you won't necessarily need that but if you ever do better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it okay plus i think it makes the gun just look much more traditional the weight the balance is just amazing okay holding the gun by just the grip with that full 16 inch barrel you can tell that it you know the little bit of forward weight i think the balance point of this gun is going to be right about here which is going to be typical for most ARs 
Yeah, that's about where we're balanced at. But there again, guys, this is with no optic, no nothing, straight out of the box. Okay. Very nice firearm. Glad to have it. Really glad to have it. I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. Uh, and I look forward to getting it out on the range. Okay. Lots more coming. Lots more coming. So, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Love to hear from you guys. Uh, also, guys, I would appreciate it if you would share the video like I had mentioned earlier. Uh, you know, that's how we are able to go out to do things like this, to be able to afford firearms and the ammo to feed them. So, you know, please share the video. Check out all of the links down in the description. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Be sure to subscribe and invite your friends to subscribe. You know, I was actually talking to a subscriber today. Met him in person. And, you know, very nice guy. You know, leave me a conversation or, you know, start a conversation with me down there in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you in the next one.